Hi everyone, welcome to Brick Arena. And I'm back this time with one of my favourite kind of videos. I'm back with a Lego haul. And there's quite a lot to get through this time, so let's get started with the first item. And the first item is this. Um, this is the Mini Cooper uh, Creator Set, set 10242. Um, and you might be able to see that this box is a little bit battered. Um, I actually picked this up in John Lewis in the UK and uh, this was in the clearance section largely because it had a hole in the box here um, but everything seems to be uh, sealed on the inside so everything's good there and this was £39 which I thought was a good price because the retail on this is about 75 or so um, I do already have one of these sets so I wasn't quite sure what I'm going to do with it whether I'm going to uh, actually maybe part this out or maybe even possibly um, build this one because I haven't built my other one just yet so build this one and either uh, keep my other one sealed or maybe even sell the other one so I thought that was a, a good buy uh, from John Lewis um, at, uh, at a really good price now um, next up is a couple of items that I got from Amazon so to give you some idea of time scale here yesterday was Amazon Prime Day in the UK or sorry rather the day before yesterday um, now there's a couple of Lego sets available um, at a reasonable price so I managed to pick up a few of those and those arrived yesterday and this is one of them. This is 75209 and it's Han Solo's uh, Land Speeder. And um, Amazon was selling these to Prime members for about £15. Um, so I managed to pick up that and picked up another um, two of those as well. Um, unfortunately, Amazon uh, these days tend to only let you get uh, probably three of each uh, which is fair enough you know to give everybody a chance of buying them ideally I would have picked up another three um, and I very nearly did that through um, another avenue through, through one of my sons who's also uh, a prime uh, member um, but they were a good deal anyway at £15 so one of those will be for me and uh, two of them will be to uh, keep for part out and I'll probably pick up a few other uh, sets of those. So next up is more uh, items from Amazon Prime there and again um, these were I thought a good, a good price and this is set 60173 and I'm not really sure of what the set name is of this. This is one of the kind of mountain police sets. And I've had my eye on this one for a little while, uh, mainly because of a few nice parts in here. Uh, the bear's really nice. Um, this guy in his sort of paw print shorts and his, his scratches on his chest is really nice. And this sort of uh, bee's nest here is, is pretty cool. And there's a few other decent parts in there as well. So I uh, picked up the, those, uh, three of those, um, again because of the restriction on quantity. Um, and these were uh, 20 pounds, I think, instead of about 30. So I thought they were a, a decent uh, price and, and worth picking up, I thought at least. So let me see if I can balance some of these. They never seem to balance very well these days. Um, so next up um, is this set and this is 75927 and this, well I'm not even going to pronounce it, but this is one of the Jurassic World sets. Um, I, I really quite like uh, a lot of these sets and I do intend getting them over time but I, I'm not over keen as you all know on paying the full price for things. Uh, this one was available in uh, my local Tesco and was reduced uh, down to just over £20 I think was, which was a decent deal so I thought I would um, grab that while I could now next up is another item from Amazon 
and I just happened to be looking the other day, this was before uh, Prime Day, because as you know these holes tend to build up over a week or two before I actually show them, and so I picked up this to add to my Dimensions uh, collection. So this is 71253, and this is um, the Fantastic Beasts uh, set, and I got it really for the uh, Newt Scalamander uh, minifig, I think uh, Fantastic Beasts is, is quite a good film and um, just thought I'd add that to the collection so pick that one up uh, that was uh, 15 pounds I think now tonight literally um, I I've literally just come back to be honest um, I got home tonight and um, having dinner with my wife and she said oh I forgot to uh, tell you that I'd seen some uh, Lego on discount in our local Sainsbury's and she takes some photographs and uh, there was a ton of it to be honest so I thought I would uh, dash down there and see if there's anything interesting to pick up so let me show you what I got um, I picked up this which is um, 10760 this is a junior set uh, with the uh, Invincibles and um, I like this because of the minifigures mainly but I looked at this and, and it has quite some 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 really good parts in it actually um, some parts which are, are quite new uh, not been out before and of course the minifigures I think uh, would have a good value but I wanted the minifigures in this uh, for myself so picked that up and that was down from 25 to 1875 I think so managed to pick up five of those which uh, again I thought was a good deal and again one of those will be for me and the rest will be parted out and then next up I saw this set this is 41334 and this is a, a friend set and I do occasionally pick these up um, it really depends on what the set is but what intrigued me about this particular set was that there is uh, a male figure in it this time uh, called Steve and Steve's got a beard here and there's also a little baby uh, called Diana and I think those will be um, probably good sellers the last time I picked up a friend set that had a male figure in I listed the the mini dolls and they went overnight at a really good price so um, I thought I would pick up, they only had two of those so I um, picked up uh, those and what else did I get? also got a few other things um, picked up some Speed Champion sets um, this is 75886 this is the Ferrari 4888 GT3. I'm not really that big on my cars, if I'm honest. Um, but I do quite like these sets. And these were reduced from £13 to about £9, something or other. And so I, I thought that was worth picking up for the collection. Um, also picked up uh, this one, which is 75885. So this is the Ford Fiesta M Sport WRC also picked up this one 75884 this is the 1968 Ford Mustang and also 75887 which is the Porsche 919 hybrid um, now also while I was there uh, managed to add to my Brickheads collection um, this is uh, Star Lord of course 41606 this was down to about 650 um, which I thought was reasonable uh, price and I've been building a few of my Brickheads lately so I thought I'd pick that up as well and lastly uh, from the stash from Sainsbury's um, I picked up this set as well 10759 and this was about £15 I think and again got this for the Invincibles uh, minifigures which I think uh, are again really good so let me get this into some kind of uh, order here
and let's see what else we've got. So next up is uh, this set. This is 41614 and this is uh, Owen and Blue. And I managed to pick this one up cheap in Tesco for about £12, which I thought was really good because, uh, as you know, it's pretty new out and the normal price is about £17, £18, pounds, so I thought that was a good uh, buy. And it's not going to stay there. So, what else uh, have I been getting? Um, also um, picked this up in my local uh, Asda supermarket, 71256, and uh, this is the Gremlins Dimension set. Uh, this was uh, £10, I think, which is really good, and I think getting Gizmo and Stripe um, were, were really uh, worth paying that amount for, to be honest. Um, it's one that I had on, on my list to pick up, and I was just waiting for that to come in at a good price somewhere. Now, what else have I been getting? Well, I went to the Lego store at the weekend and there wasn't an awful lot on my list to get, but when I got there, I had a look at the pick a brick wall and they had these one by two um, dark bluish gray tiles on the wall. And um, I thought those would be great for um, tiling my um, city pedestrian area. So I got that. Um, got um, some other some other parts um, actually there's some really good parts on the wall this time including some of these um, uh, sand green Erling bricks and some dark green uh, one by twos there uh, some of the new white flowers and more of the tiles and uh, yet more of the of the tiles as well um, so those uh, were good to pick up, um, just move those out of the way, because what else I got uh, while I was there was um, these new poly bags. Uh, these are the extra uh, polys, this is 40310 and this one is the uh, the plants, uh, so there's a couple of little trees there and a bush and a, a couple of bits of sort of white picket fencing. Um, that's the best of the bunch. I've, I've seen some of the others, some of the food ones and uh, some of the ones with the lamps. And to be honest, I've either already got the parts or I think you can get them probably cheaper on, on Bricklink, to be honest. So I just picked up two of the uh, plant ones there. Um, the store was also good enough to give me this 40282 which is one of the uh, monthly uh, builds which was really nice of them and um, while I was there I also picked up uh, this uh, brickhead in the sale this is 40271 this is the uh, Easter Bunny and they had a ton of these left to be honest um, so anyone uh, looking to sell those I did think about picking some up for my store but uh, when I had a look, didn't really think they were they were worthwhile. Um, do have to give a shout out to the store manager at the Lego store though, because um, they didn't have the, uh, the the current freebie, which was uh, this the new sort of Banana Man uh, figure. And I was a bit disappointed because I'd gone there specifically to to kind of pick that up whilst whilst getting a few other things. But to make up for it, they gave me uh, this set, 40291, which is a much, much better freebie set. And uh, I think they recognise that I go in there a lot. Um, I spend a lot of money in there, so I think they were happy to, uh, to let me have that um, instead. So let's see what else we've got. Um, picked up another uh, Brickhead 41607 from... Uh, Asda I think this time again in the sort of six pound uh, range so decent price and um, also in my local uh, Tesco this week um, came across a bunch of these uh, DJ poly bags um, which they were actually giving away with Lego a, a couple of months ago I think if you spent 10 or 20 pounds you got a, one of these free or you could buy them for four pounds well my store had these reduced for two pounds, so I picked up all that they had left, which was 12 of those. 
and let's see what else I've got. Also uh, picked up this 76090, um, picked up uh, a few of those, so there's five and another four, so that's nine of uh, those, um, again one of those for myself and the rest for my Bricklink store. Now what else, um, I got a uh, um, a, a nice tip off uh, from one of the viewers, Elliot, that uh, there were some um, cheap uh, minifigures in WH Smith's. Um, so I managed to go to my local and I picked up uh, some of these. Uh, these are the Simpsons uh, minifigures, and this is the first series. So I managed to get a bunch of those. Also, uh, while I was there, I managed to get a bunch of the Series 12 uh, minifigures, which were really nice. These are a pound each, so they were a really good, good find and a good, a good buy. And, whoops! We'll get that in a second. And then I also picked up some um, Simpsons Series 2 and uh, a few of series uh, 13, these are 125 and then I went back, Elliot had said that he wanted uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, series 14 and 15 figures so I went back to pick some of those up for him but uh, unfortunately I, I don't think he's uh, so interested in them now so they'll hit my, hit my store now I think that that is just about everything. I'm gonna get this tidied up so that um, it looks a bit prettier for you guys. I'll, I'll take some pictures and uh, get them on my Instagram feed, etc. So hope you thought that was a, a, a decent haul. To be honest, um, I, I didn't think it was it was gonna be very big. These things build up over a, a few weeks, but um, over the last day, and especially with a tip off from a wife today, um, the hole got a little bit bigger. So always nice to find a good deal, and uh, keep your eyes peeled when you're out there for some good deals yourselves. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, keep your notifications on so that when I release a video, you get notified. And again, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. So that's it for now. See you all in the next video. Bye for now.